AI video has had one major flaw. Characters that change faces mid-scene, backgrounds that don't match between cuts, and visuals that break continuity. That just changed. Runway Gen 4, launched on March 31st, 2025, introduces a major breakthrough. Character and scene consistency across shots. In this video, we'll break down exactly how Gen 4 solves the biggest problem in AI filmmaking. But that's not all. We'll also look at how it compares to earlier models, how studios like Lionsgate are already using it, and what this means for the future of jobs, creativity, and copyright in AI video. Stick around, there's a lot to unpack. What Runway Gen 4 actually pulled off? Runway's new Gen 4 model introduces a major upgrade in AI video, persistent memory for visual elements. Characters, objects, and environments now remain consistent across shots, maintaining facial features, clothing, posture, and surroundings even when the camera angle changes. This directly addresses a long-standing flaw in AI video, scenes breaking continuity from frame to frame. With Gen 4, users can upload a reference image, describe a scene, and receive clips, currently 5 to 10 seconds at 720p, um, where the subject appears coherent throughout. Smooth camera motion, multi-shot continuity, and character consistency are now achievable, marking a shift from generating one-off clips to building actual stories. The improvement comes from a technical shift. Earlier models, including Gen 3 and those from other platforms like Pika or Stability AI, handled each frame independently, resulting in flickering or morphing between shots. Gen 4 instead treats the video as a unified scene. It builds a persistent internal model that carries visual information from frame to frame, a method aligned with what researchers refer to as world modeling. While the company hasn't released full architectural details, the results suggest a more advanced temporal system and stronger use of reference conditioning. Combined with earlier runway features like Act 1's facial animation transfer and Gen 3 Turbo's 3D camera movement, Gen 4 moves closer to replicating the fundamentals of traditional filmmaking. Performance, camera direction, and shot continuity, now built into the generation process itself. For the first time, AI-generated video is showing signs of visual cohesion strong enough to support multi-shot storytelling, something previous systems couldn't deliver. Real films made using Gen 4. To demonstrate the model's capabilities, Runway collaborated with creators to produce short films using only Gen 4. No traditional cameras or animation software involved. In New York as a zoo, creators used Gen 4 to place photorealistic animals into everyday city scenes. A lion walking across a Brooklyn street, an elephant standing in front of a deli. These aren't just visual experiments. The animals remain proportionate, grounded, and consistently rendered as the camera shifts. The lighting, shadows, and even environmental textures hold up across transitions. The second example, the retrieval, tells a story. A group of explorers navigates jungle terrain in search of a glowing flower. Over the course of several scenes, tracking shots, aerial perspectives, close-ups, the main characters remain visually stable. Clothing stays the same. Hairstyles are preserved. Even their posture and motion are consistent across time. These films aren't long, between 10 and 40 seconds, but they showcase a level of narrative cohesion that previous generations couldn't achieve. Importantly, the production timelines were short. According to Runway, the retrieval was completed in less than a week using only Gen 4 tools. That suggests a future where small teams, or even individuals, could generate coherent video content without expensive hardware, VFX teams, or animation pipelines. Still, it's worth noting that while visual consistency has improved, audio, dialogue, and deeper narrative control remain outside the scope of current AI video tools. Gen 4 focuses on fixing one key piece of the puzzle, and so far, that piece is showing noticeable progress. Why this is a strategic masterstroke by Runway. Runway's rollout of Gen 4 didn't come out of nowhere. It's part of a clear trajectory the company has followed over the past year, moving step-by-step -step toward a more complete AI video production system. In October 2024, Runway introduced Act 1, a feature that lets users capture facial expressions from a smartphone 
and map them onto AI-generated characters. This allowed creators to bring performance into their AI-generated scenes, not just visuals. Then came Gen 3 Alpha Turbo in November, a significant upgrade that added 3D-style camera controls, enabling zooms, pans, and dynamic motion across scenes while preserving character proportions. Instead of static frames, users could direct how the camera moved through a generated environment. Now, with Gen 4, the company has addressed the missing link visual continuity across shots. While other platforms like Pika, Sora, and Stable Video Diffusion have focused on generating visually impressive single clips or bursts of action, Runway's updates have tackled deeper production challenges, performance capture, motion control, and now consistency. In doing so, Runway isn't just chasing realism for the sake of aesthetics. It's developing a framework that mirrors traditional filmmaking logic, where narrative, continuity, and direction all need to function as a system. That strategic focus could prove significant as AI video moves from experimentation into practical use. Money, studios, and what's at stake? Runway's latest push into consistency and multi-shot storytelling arrives as the company expands its financial and industry footprint. According to a report from The Information, Runway is in the process of raising a new round of funding that could bring its valuation close to $4 billion. That figure reflects the growing investor confidence in generative video technology as it moves closer to real-world production pipelines. The company is also targeting $300 million in annualized revenue in 2025, fueled by product launches like Gen 4, enterprise subscriptions, and its API offerings for developers and media companies. But perhaps more notable is its strategic alignment with traditional media players. Runway has formed a partnership with Lionsgate, giving it access to over 20,000 titles in the studio's catalog to train custom video generation models. In parallel, Runway launched the 100 Film Fund, an initiative that allocates up to $1 million per project to filmmakers who want to produce films using AI. The fund is designed to support experimental work and lower the barrier for independent creators who previously couldn't afford large-scale visual effects or animation. This investment signals that AI video is no longer operating on the sidelines. It's becoming part of the mainstream entertainment pipeline, and the competition is intensifying. Other companies, including OpenAI, Meta, and Google DeepMind, are all exploring generative video tools, creating what many have referred to as a billion-dollar battle for dominance in AI content creation. Gen 4, by solving a core usability issue, gives Runway a major foothold in that race, but not everyone's celebrating. As AI video advances, concerns within the creative industry are mounting. A 2024 study commissioned by the Animation Guild found that 75% of production companies that adopted AI tools reported job reductions, consolidations, or eliminations. The same study projected that over 100,000 U.S. entertainment jobs could be impacted by generative AI by 2026, particularly in visual effects, animation, and compositing roles. Beyond job displacement, legal scrutiny around AI-generated content continues to grow. Runway, like many AI companies, has been named in lawsuits from artists who allege their copyrighted work was used in training datasets without consent. These lawsuits are ongoing, and while Runway cites fair use doctrine as a legal defense, U.S. courts have not yet made a definitive ruling on whether this defense applies to AI model training. The ethical questions extend beyond legality. In March 2025, OpenAI's launch of a Ghibli-style image generation feature via ChatGPT sparked widespread backlash. Users created millions of images in the distinctive aesthetic of Studio Ghibli, despite no official collaboration or license. While OpenAI avoids using the names of living artists, studio styles like Ghibli's remain available. Runway has not disclosed a public policy on style mimicry, and when questioned about what training data was used to build its models, the company declined to provide specific details, citing competitive concerns. This lack of transparency has become standard in the industry, but it continues to be a point of tension. The underlying question remains, when an AI model can replicate an artistic style with near-perfect accuracy, where is the line between inspiration and imitation? The future. This unlocks. What Gen 4 demonstrates is that technical limitations are no longer the main obstacle for creating compelling video content. 
With a reference image, a short prompt, and a few adjustments, users can now produce scenes that would have previously required large teams and significant budgets. But the conversation is starting to shift. The question is no longer, can AI generate video? The technology clearly can, and it's getting better at it with each release. The more important question now is, what are we going to do with it? Tools like Gen 4 enable more people than ever to experiment with cinematic visuals. They reduce the cost, time, and skill barriers that once made video production inaccessible to most. But the ability to generate consistent visuals doesn't guarantee compelling stories. That part still depends on human intent. As marketing teams, educators, indie filmmakers, and content creators begin using tools like Gen 4, the challenge won't just be execution, it'll be imagination and purpose. When almost anyone can create anything, what actually becomes worth creating? We're entering a phase where the bottleneck isn't hardware or rendering speeds. It's the clarity of the idea behind the prompt. The technology is catching up. Now it's up to creators to figure out how to use it in ways that go beyond novelty. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.